Welcome all to the channel where we make statistics simple and easy. So today we are going to learn about uh, multiple linear regression. So when we talk about multiple linear regression, whereby we have one dependent variable and uh, numerous independent variables. In our case here today, we want to predict copper prices huh? given GNP, uh, industrial index, metal exchange price, housing stats, the number of housing stats, and the aluminum price. So generally what we are trying to do is uh, we want to, to predict this domestic uh, price of copper using the gross national uh, product indexed uh, index of industrial production, the land and metal exchange price of copper, the number of housing stats per year, the average price of aluminum. So we want to see if these factors really determine or really influence the domestic price of copper. So what we do, we go to analyze. And then here we have regression. Of course, it's a linear regression, but it's a, it's a multiple. Multiple meaning we have uh, a meaning we have a, a numerous independent variable. So dependent variable, our dependent variable was the domestic. Let me just increase this was domestic price of copper, so we put it there. And then all these others were independent variable. So I channel them there. So once I channel them there, so the next thing is just to click okay. So and I've clicked okay. So first thing first is now to get the model summary. And our model summary tells us that it is R, this is R, this is the correlation, and this is the R square. So if here, we have the R square that is 0 0.989, which is very high. So it tells us that 98%, actually it's 98.9%, that is almost 99% of the variation in copper prices, in the domestic copper prices, is explained by this model or is explained by these independent variables. So again, we want to evaluate our model here, the next table that is ANOVA. So we're interested with these two columns, the F and the significance. So it tells us that our p-value is 0, 0.00, which is less than maybe our significance level of 0 0.1 or 0 0.5, no matter what, it was less than that. So it tells us that our model is adequate. Here we, told, we were told that our model explains 99% of the variation of the, of the dependent variable, and this is just to confirm that that model is adequate. It can be used to, uh, to determine the domestic price of copper. That's why you see here the dependent, and these are the predictors. These predictors can be used, or these independent variables can be used to predict the prices of copper. So the other important thing that we have here is now, yes, the model is adequate, but does it mean that all our uh, independent variables are uh, significant, or do they really explain? So once that, first of all, we have here the constant or the intercept, that is 4.912. So this tells us that, all factors constant, uh, what is the expected price or what is, what is the domestic price of copper? That is 4.912. So, but again, it is not significant. So this one is not going to be used. So here we are now at the significance level. So go, let us go to this level. So anything that is higher than 0 0.05, it's not significant. So here we have 0 0.01, that is significant. That is GNP. Is, GNP is significant in explaining that model. The other, in explaining the variation in a dependent variable. The other one is 0 0.31, this is higher. So the index industrial production is not significant and cannot be used to uh, predict uh, the domestic price of copper. So the, the other one is 0 0.02, which is lower than 0 0.05, so it is significant. So London metal price, metal exchange price of copper can be used to explain the model. And then lastly, we have what? We have, uh, uh, not, not lastly, but we have 0 0.499, which is high. Again, the number of housing stats per year cannot be used to explain the domestic price of copper. And last but not least, we have now the uh, average price of aluminium, where we have the, it is significant because it's lower than 0 0.05. So we can say that among these one, two, three, four, five predictors, only three of them are significant and can be used to explain 
the variation or can be used to predict the expected price of domestic copper. So we got now uh, interpret the, the coefficients, so which were significant, so copper 0 0.011. So a unit increase in GNP increases the price of copper by 0 0.0 by 0 0.011. So again, we go to the London Metal Exchange. So a unit increase or a price increase uh, in the metal exchange increases the price of copper by 0 0.36. And again, the average price of aluminium, once the average price of aluminium goes higher, the price of domestic copper increases by 0 0.315. So that is how to interpret the coefficients in multiple linear regressions. Thank you and remember to subscribe and like the video.